talk a little bit about peace first, and we'll just to uh, know your understanding of this music. And uh, to, we understand that Dunka is a um, traditional way yeah. of that. Yeah. What is it? Uh, well, according to the name yeah. of the piece, it's about thoughts, about human thoughts. Yes. And for example, we can. Uh, Very good English. <laughs> <laughs> we can think about an old man yes. in Russian village. Yes. Uh, yeah. Who's thinking about something about <laughs> Russian hard soul, which okay. is so difficult yes. and just <laughs> a lot of things to do and to think about. about. Okay, just one second. Yes. That's good. Thanks. So we have a lot of different scenes in the village and different things happening in the village too, with the, with the dancing, with yeah. the Russian soul. Yeah. And at the moment you play very well. You, you, there's some things you can improve, but generally you have quite a good picture of the music. Естественно, что-то еще нужно доучить, но в целом очень правильное понимание. But um, I think what what is needed now is is for you to be able to change the characters in the various sections a little bit better, so that so that you feel you understand the differences. It's like wearing different hats. Colors. 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 Right. Very hard. Yeah, and also to, to character. Yeah. Но в данный момент не хватает смены характера, не хватает не хватает более ясного показа этого характера. Yeah, so we, so we now have to, and also we have to get in touch with our emotions a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. The, the, beginning, the beginning emotion is, is what? Is what? Mm. I think maybe it's kind of a picture, just a picture of Russian village. Yeah. Right? Okay. And I, I don't know. What's the emotion though here? The emotion. What do you feel when you play this? Maybe a little bit of pain. Pain, yes. Pain, pain very good. <laughs> so <laughs> deep, okay. deep, inside. deep pain and, and tragedy. <laughs> yeah, tragedy. <laughs> so we have to... It sounds too happy. Okay. <laughs> it, you must really engage uh, and touch with your in your imagination. Even show. Your emotion. Yeah, show your imagination. Yeah. yeah, I need to change my glasses. <laughs> Deep. It needs more sound. 
sound. You're too light with it. Это очень глубокая, очень очень выразительная гармония, которая требует больше звука, а звучит очень легко. melody with, with this decoration for the light okay. yeah so you need to make a little bit more of this feeling this change of direction in the harmony uh, we, we need maybe to go back from here to be 
be held because this long that note. Yeah? Exactly. You have to change your hat a little oh, bit more, a okay. little bit better, because you are thinking... Do you need me to have this? Okay. <laughs> um, you need to think now different personality. Yeah? So this you hold from here, this um, uh, G. And then... <gasps> breathe, yeah? Обязательно взять дыхание. It's fresh. So singing on the top, a little bit more bright on the top, right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. the, the articulation needs to be better. With also with articulation. He's bigger and deeper with those those accents. But this. needs the articulation. You're a little bit sleepy with it. Такие активные пальцы, потому что тогда так отпираться. much bigger when you get there as well. Ta-da! That's Ah, exactly. Okay, you're not happy with this. These two bars, excuse me, these two bars he's not happy with at all. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has that. Right. Okay. So... These two bars you need to learn. Because so it's really difficult to coordinate the hands here. Очень трудно координировать руки здесь. So we need to think or a lot of practicing just onto this. Da 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 da. It's the same articulation as the first time. Есть такая же артикуляция в первом проведении темы, и очень полезно получить только до третьей четверти. 
With the added complication of the left hand in, in, in moving fast. Okay, try left hand on its own. Yeah. Okay, don't panic. Hey, bravo. Right, you know? Yes. <laughs> Controlling well right. well Very good. Tia, now this ta, pa pa pa. Okay. Now you have to practice then, um, because you can't do it immediately, I think, because this articulation is different. So you have to practice as far as there, and then. The articulation. First part of the bar in the second. The second bar, yeah. Break it down into small sections. Очень полезно разделить так на маленькие отрезки и учить их потихоньку прибавляя друг другу. For practicing, sometimes you need to isolate different areas just to make sure that the articulation is good. Очень полезно учить отдельный эпизод, чтобы удостоверить то, что правильно артикуляция играется. Because without the articulation, you lose the character. Потому что если не будет правильной артикуляции, то не будет характера. And it becomes flat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we we have short time, so I just want to also cut a little bit going on. Um, the next the next mood we we have is this. Uh dancing, yeah, which is must be very lively. Sorry, but what about this part? Yeah, I'm just coming there. So, so you you want to just give your to transition into that section a bit better. So after you've had this, this is more thoughtful. Yeah. Нужно лучше перейти к этому эпизоду. Он более как размышление, да, более более задумчивый. So you have to be more dreaming of what maybe he could, this man in the village, where he could go, right? You can say that if you like. Swan. Oh, maybe a swan is lovely. Yeah, great. Good. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, so it just needs to be more, more beautiful. Mm -hmm. But also thinking uh, memories, maybe some sadness still in there too. It's not happy. It's not. Yeah, okay, you work with that. Right. The, the other last thing I want to say because we're short time, but this the cadenza should start from nothing. Cadenza should So add a huge crescendo up. It's like uh, you know I don't know if you have this legend in Ru in Russian legend or in maybe in Kazakh you do. The like the genie in the lamp. Do you know oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, you know. So this passage, this cadence, starts from nothing, it starts like a genie in the lamp. Yeah. So that you hear the genie in the lamp just moving and then coming out. Right. Sorry. 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 Sor
purpose of it? Yeah, actually, I haven't practiced it ah. yet. Yeah. Okay, so you need so, some practice. Yeah. But the idea is right, so that you you make that so you come from nothing. Okay. okay. All right. Now we need to stop. Last, very last thing. Последнее. After you have the the um, theme again. This. This time we have this time like next door percussion, right? <laughs> Going on yeah. there. Like timpani. Uh, it's dead underneath. So you feel this drum, death drum. Great. Yay.
and uh, yeah, you play well. You play very well. You have some very good ideas about what you want to do, and you you have very good technical control. Nearly always, not always, but sometimes. Yes. <laughs> And people often ask us as jury members why um, why did you, you know what was it about my performance that maybe didn't work on the in the in the competition, right? Yeah. Yeah. Люди часто спрашивают у членов жюри, а что не получилось, почему там человек не прошел дальше на следующий And sometimes it's really only small things. Um, sometimes it's big things, but in some cases it's only small things. But one of the most important things about this, um, about when you're judging something, when we, are, when we are judging young performers, is that we're looking for somebody who really portrays, the, as I was, talk, I was talking about with Dunka, portrays the character of the music and, and communicates that across to the audience in a very vivid way. And, and com the, com the communication between you and the audience is really, really important. Mm -hmm. we, we take the... Um, the technical ability and being able to play all the notes, we take that as, as just because everybody's so good at that. That's, that's the basic. Yeah. But it has to have something, um, in English we say, I don't know if you can translate this, it's difficult, um, this indefinable quality. If you ah. can't define the quality to communicate, it's a very special И зачастую, пос, поскольку технический уровень сегодня настолько высокий, мы обращаем внимание на то, что на, как бы это объяснить, на, не самую, на, на способность заявиться с пульт, который не всегда можно объяснить словами. So, so, maybe on a one day you play really, really, really your best, and you, or, or the jury is very receptive to you, and on another day maybe you not play because you may be nervous, not quite so communicatively. So today I felt you were more relaxed. Still nervous, but more relaxed than when you played. And because there is not so much pressure on you today to, to because you're thinking I don't have to compete, so I just play it, right? <laughs> okay. So so maybe you said okay, but even so it's still big pressure to play for for, for Professor, I appreciate that. Um, so one of the what is the way that we can help ourselves to control, and particularly in your case, what is the way you can help yourself control and pace yourself well? I think when uh, uh, my mom or my uh, teacher, uh, they make a video and mm -hmm. I watch uh, how can how uh, do I uh, look at the scene? Mm -hmm. And it Very helps uh, because uh, when uh, when I'm here, here? Yeah. Uh, I think, oh, I do something really fantastic. Yes. But uh, if I when I watch the video, yeah. uh, or I I do nothing yeah. because uh, I just play uh, by my fingers, yeah. but I can play um, but my uh, by my soul. Yeah. So we maybe you just explain a bit if he watches video, right? Mm -hmm. this, this, uh, this is a really good idea. Um, because then you're outside of yourself looking in, right? Yeah. But 
ultimately, we have to improve while we are doing it. We have to, yeah? That's the more difficult, no? Но самое трудное делать это именно за инструментом, через остальные за So, we, what I think you need to do a little bit more of is actually breathe more. Because I think you have a you have a, a really good heart, a really good head, but sometimes your heart rules your head. <laughs> like this. Eh? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Trying to seduce. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He's uh, like Don Juan. Yes, yeah. exactly like Don Juan. Yes. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Trying to seduce. Exactly. So that's exactly right. So it needs to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more suave. Do you want to that? Suave, like Don Juan, really. Tari, tari, so that you're. He's been more charming. He's, Yeah. yeah, and uh, but yours was very straight. Yours was too straight. You play lines. Yeah, you, you play nicely, but. Not as bad as that. But it needs, it needs to be more. transition from that section gradually gradually you're going to wind up to the dancing again right so this um, 
gradually, gradually moving. Yeah, mm-hmm. not not straight away. Da 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 da. This. постепенное возвращение. A little bit more imaginative. So. So you build up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm watching time, so we have to be very careful. Just one, uh, so when you transition, when you make transitions from one section to the other, you need to link them more carefully. Mm-hmm. Be careful you don't cut this short. One, two. Count a little bit better. And this is all very good. Da yada. Sometimes space is needed at the end of a of a phrase. You need to hold space for dra- for the drama. Yeah. Don't rush. So that you don't just move on to the next section. You need to exaggerate this, these changes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Uh, this ending you did very well, very good, it's all coming on very well. Just even uh, here also, rest. Da da ya da, you've been told before because this is the circle around it. Da da ya da da, e fa. Really, <gasps> even in the end you need more breath. Uh-huh. Right, really important. Da da dee da dee da 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 da, di drum. Be ha, ya. Each one, each beginning of the bar needs time, and a little bit more. Shall we just try the coda? Straight on in the tempo. Da 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 ya, bum bum. This is go on. Hold the pedal. Hold the pedal. Hold the pedal. Da 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 da. Bum off. Ah, you mean one pedal? Yeah. If you want, maybe change on this top one. Maybe change on that if you want. It depends on the acoustic. Yeah, but it needs a little bit more, a little bit more resonance. Yeah. So you can change on there. You have to experiment that with your teacher. Okay. 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 You, you know, you're a very talented young man. Thank you. And uh, I really enjoy listening to you. Just be free. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you.
мажор первая часть. Когда жюри слушает особенно маленьких исполнителей, на сцене они кажутся гораздо взрослее. 
Yeah, they have a beautiful dress. You had a beautiful dress on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and every they look very professional, and everything is great, you know. Yeah, and and so you you're listening to them with with professional ears because they are so well prepared in in a professional sense. It's only afterwards, after the session, that you walk outside and you see how tiny they are. <laughs> and it makes, you, it makes us think, oh yeah, yeah, really, they're, they're, they're just tiny children, you know, it's just a family. So, so it's really important for us as jury members to keep that in mind that these are these are tiny, tiny people. And uh, people who we we listen to with, you know, everything that I'm going to say today um, is on top of. You already you have very very good teacher, a very good practice. Hmm? Uh, and anything I will say will just be a little bit on top of that. Just. Okay. So just some some tiny things to just make it a little bit better. I said. Okay. So um, tiny things. Um, maybe just play me the opening. Can you play me the opening? So we have to be careful because of the left hand. Well, it's very, the left hand is very, very heavy. So we have to keep the left hand a little bit lighter, just because uh, the, the balance between the hands is not so good. Тебе нужно внимательно слушать, чтобы левая рука не была такой тяжелой, такой громкой. When you play this, I have no score, so I'm... the right hand will sink, but the left hand less. Правая рука должна громче, а левая потише. Try once more, the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at too much. Too much left hand. But right. No. It's too much. For Haydn, it's hard to explain. Huh? Because Haydn is his piano was much, much um, less powerful. Рояль, когда Гайдер писал эту сонату, он был не такой громкий, он был совсем тихий. You're, you're from Germany, so you know about these, uh, these, these pianos, <laughs> they're, they're smaller pianos, the sound is not so loud, so we have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So keep the left hand down. Transfer. Yeah. Yeah, okay, from the beginning. So the left hand. On, on that pier on toes. Okay, so yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> So loud but beautifully phrased. 
громко, сожительно громко, но при этом очень красивую фразу. Первую ноту слегка нужно выделить, остальные сыграть гораздо легче. Очень важно да, контролировать силу нажатия, потому что она понимает, почему так делать, что вот, очень маленькая и хочется это сыграть ярче. And it's good that you have a lovely deep sound. That's good. Это очень хорошо, у тебя очень хорошо, глубокий, красивый звук. But we have to remember that this is, this is Haydn, so yeah. it's, it's more classical, so it's a bit lighter the touch. Но нельзя забывать о том, что это музыка Гайдена, ее нужно играть на немного легче. Just be careful with that, okay? Просто нужно очень внимательно следить. Yeah. Now you also want to play Chopin, I think, right? Yeah. So let's let's hear Chopin. Oh, Edit opus ten. Opus twenty five. Yeah, opus twenty five, number two. Yeah. Opus twenty five, number two. Yeah. Exactly. I thought that when I read it. Thank you. 
Yeah, and really trying hard to, to observe details and going around corners. But sometimes, you know, we have to be careful we don't exaggerate turning around corners too much. И нужно очень внимательно, иногда слишком выделяем различные повороты. Еще раз с самого начала. when you want sometimes and when you do time and you restart each time it's it's a little bit the music becomes like stop and go go and stop когда ты делаешь такое сильное замедление то музыка останавливается да? как будто вот мы выключили музыку потом опять включили so not perhaps not so much slowing down not quite so slowly there. Because I'm sure you've been, you're trying hard to, to show the details, you know. And this is one explanation I can tell you, and I think you can understand. Do you ride a bike? Can you ride a bike? Yeah, good. Okay. Very good. She's very good at riding a bike. Good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so when you when you turn around the corner on your bike, sometimes you have to take your foot off the pedal, right? A little bit, little bit, right? Now, with with you, because you go so slowly when you turn your corners, you fall off your bike. You have to keep pedaling a little bit more slowly to go around the corner. Okay? So not to stop pedaling. Huh? Yeah, just a little bit, keep it going. Alright, don't stop, otherwise you fall off your bike when you go. It's too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, try from the beginning again. We can Еще раз начал.
saying for um, Mr. Pavetchny's masterclass, um, I think he is going to talk all about Chopin because yes, he has, yes. has a full yes. class, so maybe you can explain that to them. Yeah? Для тех, кто хочет, кто будет слушать мастер-класс профессора Полечного, он будет гораздо больше говорить о Шапане, будет для него столько музыки Шапане. Yeah, он очень большой специалист по Шапане. И лучше, лучше yes. остаться послушать его мастер-класс. Yeah. I mean, I could, there are many things I can say to you now too, but because we have a short amount of time, I think you will learn a lot if you listen for another two hours to, to Mr. Kolechny about Chopin. Так как очень мало времени, больше пользы будет просто послушать мастер-класс. Because he's specializing in Chopin for the whole class. Yeah. Okay, so we, so, uh, how, is this fresh for you? Is it new for you? Three weeks. Three, only three weeks? Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. So it's this this sort of piece will live with you forever. You will play this, and when you are, you know, in your 80s and 90s, you will always live with this music. Yeah. And Camilla, it's good to learn this now while you're young because you can, you know, you can learn it and absorb it and um, work with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, with ballads, it's very difficult because they they have a lot of different sections and it's hard to get the structure to hold together. С балладами всегда проблема собрать форму, так как она из многих различных эпизодов. And how you move from one section to another is really important. Mm -hmm. um, how you, you judge your tempo changes, how you work out how to, to, to change or to think of turning corners. It's very difficult. И очень важно в этой балладе соотношение этих эпизодов и темповые, и смысловые. And the, the structure is always in a ballad, as, as Mr. Pelechny will tell you, I'm sure. The structure in ballad is always very free, so so there's no formal um, form. So it's very hard for us to, to try to make sense with this, although we understand now how it works because we, we know these pieces for forever, all our lives. Поэтому очень трудно сказать конкретно, как в форме это написано. What, when I'm thinking, when I'm listening to you today, uh, obviously technically there is some work to be done to, to improve. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, because it's fresh. And also, the, another thing that I'm noticing a lot with your playing is that you don't always listen to your pedaling. It's because, you know, we, we have to use our foot well, we use our pedal not with our foot but with our ears. And sometimes I think, especially when we, we're starting to learn something fresh, we just use the pedal randomly without thinking about it. And then it becomes, it becomes like you haven't made any really good decisions about how you're pedaling and so it's messy sometimes, the harmonies are blurred. И поэтому и гармонии сливаются, и не совсем понимают, как пользоваться дальше педали. This, this, I always think about the pedal as um, a kind of paintbrush to music, you know. It, this is your paintbrush. Педаль это как кисть, как, которую мы рисуем. And, it, and if you've got too much water on your paintbrush, if it holds down for too long, the, the, the mess is on the paper. Да, если держать это, это может как кисть держать в воде слишком долго. So we, yeah, we need to be a bit clearer with, with what we're doing, with changes, pedal changes. Okay, so for instance, uh, for pedal, for instance, the beginning... Um, so you, you change very clear, and this sings beautifully. phrase the pedal yeah can we just do from the beginning from this yeah with this this the moment your touch is too 
staccato, mm -hmm. it's mezzo staccato, right? It's a little Of all the composers, maybe Schumann as well, the same, but particularly Chopin is the cantabile is one of the most important elements. Like, you know, um, he, he was influenced by uh, the opera of Bellini. Mm -hmm. yeah, but... <laughs> Sing on the top, not so much. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful sound. Picked up the, the spacing. Well done. Fine. Okay. Um, well, the next section when we when we have this, uh, take your time. This, this do a little bit more phrasing. Which is your? Which is your? And it, that's where it doesn't do that, of course. But if you want to hear two. But, be, but don't rush this, this decoration and again transition into this, right? And this is a change to the next theme. Yeah, you see even there, the pedals, yeah? Because you don't want to hear... Again, Mr. Pelechny will tell you, not always reliable with the pedal. Okay. Yeah, so more expressive. Yeah, good, okay, fine. 
So some, some things to think about. Be careful, because sometimes you need to change your pedal a little bit more regularly. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Um, many, many things to talk about here, and I, we don't have a lot of time because we have to move. But that's okay. Yeah, this was not so strong today. Mm -hmm. um, you have to imagine this, this, again, this linking of this section mm -hmm. that is more imaginative. So after you've had this, uh, what is it? красивым звуком, без каких-либо прерываний, без каких-либо акцентов. you will be more courageous with the with being able to play slow, softly everybody thinks playing loudly and fast is difficult i think the reverse все думают что играть громко и быстро это сложно на самом деле yeah play, playing softly and slowly is much more difficult самое трудное играть тихо и медленно yeah so it's singing Hold them through the room. Mm -hmm. Too much. in the line bumping yes. it's not smooth mm -hmm. that one is expressive and with the fingers absolutely deep legatissimo
reality. Mm -hmm. about pedaling and how you work we haven't got time for that now but you think discuss it with your teacher because generalized pedaling is not good it's just too it's too washy yeah okay and uh, there are there are many many things to say here be careful with this 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 inner melody and make it make it dance a little bit more. Is this? Yes. <laughs> Needs to to twirl around a little bit more mm -hmm. and dance. It's a bit like waltzing. Mm -hmm. yeah. fix it immediately but think about them for what you what you're doing do we need to stop <coughs> We're, I think we have to stop. yeah so uh, thank you very much Camilla it's very nice to meet you work hard and listen very carefully to what you're doing okay uh -huh. thank you thank, thank you. you very much